My name is Will Power Coix, pro boxer and your boxing coach. In this video, I want to talk about some boxing calming mistakes that some fighters do, including myself. And really, start right off the bat is sometimes you overtrain. You do a little bit too much than you should. Maybe you're doing too much weightlifting. You're 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 doing leg day on the wrong day, and the next thing you know, you're sparring and your legs are too heavy and you feel a lot slower. Overtraining is a super common mistake that a lot of fighters make because they're not listening to their bodies and understanding that hey, I did a little bit too much this week. I need to chill out and relax and rest and recover and regroup um, and make sure you eat the right food so that way that you feel the recharge on the next training day. And it's something something super common that happens and all you got to do to avoid that is just to really analyze and like kind of reassess the, the the progress you're making and and understand like am I doing enough is it enough and if it's going to help you in the long run because maybe taking a day off is not a bad idea at all um, another common mistake that I see fighters like to do is they overfight. They, got, they fight one day here, and then they fight the next week then, and they fighting and fighting and fighting. And I think that it's good to get the experience, but how valuable is that experience if you're not taking it into consideration and how your performance was? Such as, you fought once, you fought like shit, so you fight again to see hopefully that you learn from your mistakes. And then you fight again the next week. How are you ever going to really look at your progress if you're fighting and thinking about the next one? And I think it's super important that fighters fight a lot, but they don't fight too much. I like this. I like a, a minimum once a month, maybe twice or three times in a month. Um, and even after that, now you're getting uh, more fights on your belt. Now it's time to taper down a little bit and make sure that you're making the right progress. You're making the right adjustments. You're picking the right fights. You challenge yourselves in the right time, and then make the next fight a uh, easier match if you can find if that if that's possible, and then go for the bigger, harder, challenging fights. And I think it's super important that fighters do this so they have their mental state at a nice, relaxed pace. Because you're probably just overworking your body in those fights. A lot of wear and tear goes into the sport. And it's a lot better if you take care of your mind and your head because that's what's going to keep you long in the longevity uh, in, the, in this boxing game is to make sure you keep take care of that head of yours. Um, next, a lot of, a lot of this kind of ties into each other over fighting, over training, and it all comes down to not taking enough breaks. Take a day off and it's not gonna hurt you, it's actually gonna help you. Because not only do we learn boxing by doing it and being in the, in the ring and sparring and doing all these drills, but you also learn by watching boxing. And on your off days, if you don't want to take a break, you can do on your off days is just watch a bunch of videos. Watch boxing, uh, expert boxing. You know, maybe some of my videos. I don't have that much, but I got some videos you can watch. Or other, other YouTube channels that have great boxing knowledge. Because on those off days, you're not really taking a break. You're just mentally preparing, getting yourself hyped up, watching fighters that, that you look up to. So that way you too can then put it on. And like I said, you learn by doing boxing, you learn by watching others, and also learn by listening. And I hope by you listening to me today, that's gonna help you to win your next fight and cure the common boxing mistakes. My name is Will Power Coix, and I'll see you in the next round.